guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse Shows. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A video answering some of your guys' biggest questions, mainly in regards to The Flash, but we're going to be talking about some of the other shows from the past and the ones that are currently on TV right now. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year and also into next year as we are coming up towards the end of the year. And I want to thank you guys for your consistent support and watching all of my videos. Hoping to reach 110k very soon. We are about 800 subs off of that goal. So please be sure to share the video around, leave a like, which is probably the most important thing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So like I said, we're going to be answering some of your questions that you guys have sent in over on the community tab. And if you want to be a part of any future videos, please be sure to go over and comment on that community tab post any topics, questions or theories that you want me to go over in one of my videos. So the first question comes from Steve Vestal, who has a bunch of questions and we're going to go through them one by one. The first question is this. How much longer will The Flash be on TV because Arrow and Supergirl both ended? So this is a good question and I try not to answer this question all the time because it is a consistent question that everyone asks. But once in a while, every few months, I kind of update you guys on my thoughts. And so as of right now, we just had Armageddon. It finished. It was a very successful event by all accounts. People loved it. Yes, there were some things that people didn't love. But overall, it got a really good response, especially on social media, got everyone talking, which is obviously what they intended to do and they'll be very pleased with. So right now, The Flash is in a good place. We've just had a great crossover event for five episodes. We are going on a long break, but people are consistently talking about The Flash still because of how great it was and, you know, the ideas that it sets up for the future. So if they manage to keep up this momentum throughout this season and then into next season because we can presume we're going to have a season 9, I reckon they're going to continue making The Flash at least for a couple more years after that. And so in the case of Arrow and Supergirl, the reason is that both of those shows ended, as I've explained before, is that the main stars of the show actually decided enough was enough and they were going to step away from the show and therefore they agreed with the CW and with everyone else that they would end the shows at a certain point. With Supergirl, it was season 6. With Arrow, it was season 8. Obviously, that was like a half season ending with Crisis. But in the case of The Flash, it's really down to Grant Gustin as well. And as far as I've seen and he's commented upon online, it seems he's really into the character and he's found even more connection to him as he's gone along over the years. And it doesn't look like he's ready to give up the role now. So... I reckon, Steve, Flash will continue past Season 10. I'm going to say Season 10 is a good bet. However, it could go further than that. It could go supernatural numbers. So that's my answer. So, Steve's second question is this. Will Arrow be coming back to the CW? So, as I just explained, Arrow ended after Season 8. This was about two years ago as of right now. And we've seen the return of a couple of characters. Those characters being David Ramsey's Diggle and Catherine McNamara's Mia Queen, aka the new Green Arrow. So, in regards to the Arrow potentially coming back, I'm not going to say it's that likely. If Arrow is going to come back, it will probably be Stephen Amell returning as the Green Arrow, as Oliver Queen in a crossover. That would be the best bet, considering that we've seen his other co-stars returning, and he's continued to talk about the Arrowverse and his time on Arrow, and the fact that he's open to coming back, but it's just a matter of circumstances. Right now, he has his show on Stars about wrestling that just got picked up for a season two. So it seems he's going to be preoccupied for a while. But potentially when they finish season two, considering that Steven actually is from Canada and he goes back to Vancouver quite a lot, I reckon if they line up their schedules, he could return for a future crossover because he's had some time off and maybe it seems he's missing his character a bit because he was with the character for such a long time. But in regards to Arrow actually coming back to the CW, like the show coming back, I'm gonna say it's nearly impossible. The only way that Arrow returns is via a miniseries on HBO Max. As Stephen Amell has previously stated, he said he is open to maybe doing a potential Arrow miniseries that would premiere on HBO Max 
if they were given the budget and if HBO Max actually wanted it to go ahead, doing it as like a short revival run of Arrow. And although I love the idea, I don't know how likely it is because normally when a show is gone, they are gone and there's always the chance that their character could return but it's more unlikely that the show would not return. So that's my thoughts on that. Okay, let's move on to Steve's next question. This is in regards to Batwoman. And so Steve says, as far as Batwoman is concerned, I stopped watching after Ruby Rose exited the show. Now for closure, I think she should return in a scene where someone finds her body and that would end the speculation about what happened to her. So what do I think about this? Well, you know what happened with Ruby Rose recently and her comments. It's almost impossible that Ruby's ever going to return to Batwoman. I'm going to say that straight up. I don't think she's ever returning. However, yes, closure would be a good thing if they wanted to do it. And, you know, they have dragged on the whatever happened to Kate Kane storyline since Ruby left the show. But I honestly don't see them actually going ahead with this considering the publicity that it would give the show because they really responded harshly to what Ruby said, so I don't think they want to reference her at all pretty much in the future unless it absolutely must happen, and I think they can always try and avoid it. So, yes, as a fan, you would like that closure, but I don't think logistically you're ever going to see Ruby Rose rejoin Batwoman and actually film some stuff because it's not just a character returning, Ruby would have to go up to Vancouver, film with those people that she absolutely did not have a good experience with. And would she do that just so the fans? I don't think so. So let's move on to Steve's final question and the final question is, does anyone know when The Flash and Arrow will get a 4K release when released on Blu-ray. My answer to that is I'm not sure and now you bring it up I'm surprised they haven't done this. I don't believe they do this a lot with new seasons but they kind of might do it with a big box set and considering that Arrow has finished its run I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually got around to it but it's all kind of to do with sales. If Arrow sales are up and there is demand for it, I think they would totally make a 4K release of the show. However, with The Flash, with it still ongoing, they would probably wait until The Flash actually ends its run, if they were ever going to do it, as I'm pretty sure producing 4K DVDs or Blu-rays is very expensive compared to just copying DVDs and Blu-rays. So that was Steve's questions. Let's move on to the next one. This comes from John Mark Peterson II. John says, do you think The Flash will have any more mini crossovers just like what we had at the beginning of this season? And if so, who would you like to see in the crossover? So this is a very good question, John. Thanks for sending it in. Will we get any more Armageddon style crossover events? So I don't think we're going to get many of these only because Armageddon was a replacement for the big crossovers that they normally do in the Arrowverse. And so they wanted to create a contained crossover within just one show where they can have guest stars showing up in those episodes. But really at the end of the day, it was a flash heavy crossover, whereas basically setting up the rest of the season and they were completely dealing with Barry versus reverse flash. Also incorporating those other elements by having those other characters show up. So the reason I think probably not is because over the next few years, hopefully restrictions become less harsh, unlike they've been for the last couple of years since you know what started. But if they were actually to do another mini crossover, who would I like to see in that crossover? Well, obviously I'm going to say Superman because Superman didn't get to show up in this crossover. And I must say John Diggle as Green Lantern because they set it up and never actually paid it off during Diggle's couple of appearances in all the different Arrowverse shows this year. So we can finally figure out what direction Diggle was taking and it's more than likely that Diggle is going to return at some point, especially since I believe David Ramsey is coming back to direct some episodes. John also brings up Naomi, who is getting their own show, obviously premiering January 11th, along with Superman Lois Season 2. Very excited for Naomi. 
Watch yesterday's video if you haven't watched it, we talked about Naomi a bit and the potential of Superman and Lois crossing over with the show because Naomi is obsessed with Superman and comic books in the show. So I definitely think someone like Naomi is a big potential for crossover material because she's an extremely powerful character from the comics and I would absolutely love to see that. But at the end of the day, my number one pick, of course, would be Supergirl because Supergirl has just finished and maybe in a couple of years time we get a mini crossover and they're like hey melissa do you want to show up and appear in this crossover and maybe it's after a while where she's had some time to reflect on her time on supergirl and maybe just like stephen and mel as we discussed earlier maybe she misses the role and she might come back for a potential crossover more so than starting up on any other Arrowverse show. So that's my answer and thanks for the question, John. Let's move on to the last couple of questions. So Mayata Dean says, do you think they are going to explain how Ronnie and Eddie are alive? Obviously this is in reference to the Flash season eight and the upcoming episodes which are going to premiere sometime next year. And so we're seeing the return of Ronnie Raymond and Eddie Thorne, two characters in the past that have made a big impact on the show. Now, I don't know if these characters are showing up separately or are they going to appear at the same time? It would kind of make sense if they appeared at the same time because they were both around and they were both kicking it before they both died at the end of The Flash season one. But I do think they're going to explain how they are alive I think the most likely option is that Barry has time traveled back to the past and we are seeing things that actually occurred before but are going to be changed a bit because of the timeline changes that were teased in the most recent trailer for The Flash Season 8 Episode 6, the upcoming episode which will premiere sometime in March and it seems that Nora and Bart have made some big changes to the timeline and I think this definitely could affect Ronnie and Eddie and will probably be the reason why we see them and why we're going back in time. Because from some set photos, we saw that Eddie was actually there with Joe. And so you can kind of add up the dots and it's more likely than not with the timeline changes and with time travel and with Bart and Nora being around and then Eddie and Ronnie showing up that we're going to go back in time and see these guys back when they were alive. Okay, let's move on to the final question of the video. This comes from Unspeakable BG, who asks, Do you think they will show Reverse Flash locked up in Argus, similar to how he was locked up in Iron Heights in Season 5? Now, I like this question because I didn't actually think of this before, so thanks for bringing it up. But yeah, at the end of last episode, it was revealed that Argus managed to lock up Reverse Flash and currently this version of Reverse Flash is powerless due to Barry draining his speed at the end of Armageddon. And with him being the Reverse Flash, being Barry's enemy, of course he's going to return at some point. But will he have powers is the big question and will we see him at Argus? One can presume if we're seeing this version of Reverse Flash, we're going to go to Argus and actually see him. But if it is a future version or another version of himself from the past, maybe we won't see him at Argus. It all depends on when they want to bring him back and what is the proper reason for it. If it's revenge, yeah, we'll see him break out of Argus or something like that. But that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment really helps out the channel as we try and reach 110,000 subscribers. You can also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.